The Risen Christ, Faith's Reality. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received and in which you stand, to by which also you are saved, if you hold fast that word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. 3. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, for and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, 5. And that he was seen by a Cephas, then by the twelve. 6. After that he was seen by over five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain to the present, but some have, b, fallen asleep. 7. After that he was seen by James, then by all the apostles. 8. Then last of all he was seen by me also, as by one born out of due time. 9. For I am the least of the apostles, who am not worthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. 10. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I but the grace of God which was with me. Eleven therefore, whether it was I or they, so we preach and so you believed. The risen Christ, our hope. Twelve now if Christ is preached that he has been raised from the dead, how do some among you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? Thirteen, but if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. 14. And if Christ is not risen, then our preaching is empty and your faith is also empty. 15. Yes, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he did not raise up, if in fact the dead do not rise. 16. For if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. 17. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is futile, you are still in your sins. 18 Then also those who have, see, fallen asleep in Christ have perished. 19 If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men the most pitiable. The last enemy destroyed. 20 But now Christ is risen from the dead, and has become the firstfruits of those who have, d, fallen asleep. 21 For since by man came death, by man also came the resurrection of the dead. 22 For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. 23 But each one in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterward those who are Christ's at his coming. 24 Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. 25 For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. 26 The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. 27 For he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who put all things under him is accepted. 28 Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Effects of Denying the Resurrection 29 Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized for the dead, if the dead do not rise at all? Why then are they baptized for the dead? 30 And why do we stand in e, jeopardy every hour? 31 I affirm, by the boasting in you which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. 32 If, in the manner of men, I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. 33 Do not be deceived, evil company corrupts good habits. 34 Awake to righteousness, and do not sin for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. A glorious body. 35. But someone will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? 36. Foolish one, 
what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. 37 And what you sow, you do not sow that body that shall be, but mere grain, perhaps wheat or some other grain. 38 But God gives it a body as he pleases, and to each seed its own body. 39 All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind, F, of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. 40 There are also, G, celestial bodies, and H, terrestrial bodies, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. 41 There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars, for one star differs from another star in glory. 42 So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. 43 It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. 44 It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. 45 And so it is written, The first man Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. 46 However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward the spiritual. 47 The first man was of the earth, made, I, of dust. The second man is, J, the Lord from heaven. 48 As was the, K, man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust, and as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. 49 And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we, L, shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Our final victory. 50 Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. 51 Behold, I tell you a, am, mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed, 52 in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. 53 For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. 54 So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. 55 O N Death, where is your sting? O Hades, where is your victory? 56 The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. 57 But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. 58 Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Collection for the Saints 1 Corinthians chapter 16 Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given orders to the churches of Galatia, so you must do also, Two on the first day of the week, let each one of you lay something aside, storing up as he may prosper, that there be no collections when I come. Three, and when I come, whomever you approve by your letters, I will send to bear your gift to Jerusalem. For but if it is fitting that I go also, they will go with me. Personal Plans Five, now I will come to you when I pass through Macedonia, for I am passing through Macedonia. 6. And it may be that I will remain, or even spend the winter with you, that you may send me on my journey, wherever I go. 7. For I do not wish to see you now on the way, but I hope to stay a while with you, if the Lord permits. 8. But I will tarry in Ephesus until Pentecost. 9. For a great and effective door has opened to me, and there are many adversaries. 10. And if Timothy comes, see that he may be with you without fear, for he does the work of the Lord, as I also do. 11. Therefore let no one despise him. 
but send him on his journey in peace, that he may come to me, for I am waiting for him with the brethren. 12 Now concerning our brother Apollos, I strongly urged him to come to you with the brethren, but he was quite unwilling to come at this time. However, he will come when he has a convenient time. Final Exhortations 13 Watch, stand fast in the faith, be brave, be strong. 14 Let all that you do be done with love. 15 I urge you, brethren, you know the household of Stephanas, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have devoted themselves to the ministry of the saints. 16 That you also submit to such, and to everyone who works and labors with us. 17 I am glad about the coming of Stephanas, Fortunatus, and Achaicus, for what was lacking on your part they supplied. 18 For they refreshed my spirit and yours. Therefore acknowledge such men. Greetings and a solemn farewell. 19 The churches of Asia greet you. Aquila and Priscilla greet you heartily in the Lord, with the church that is in their house. 20 All the brethren greet you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. 21 The salutation with my own hand, Paul's. 22 If anyone does not love the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be, O, oh, accursed. O, oh, P, Lord, come. 23 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. 24 My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. Greeting. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy our brother. To the church of God which is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in all Achaia. To grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Comfort in suffering. 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, for who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any, a, trouble, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. 5. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our, b, consolation also abounds through Christ. 6. Now, if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. 7. And our hope for you is steadfast, because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so also you will partake of the consolation. Delivered from suffering. 8. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our C trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. 9. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead, 10. Who delivered us from so great a death, and D. Does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. 11. You also helping together in prayer for us, that thanks may be given by many persons on e our behalf for the gift granted to us through many paul's sincerity 12 for our boasting is this the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in f simplicity and godly sincerity not with fleshly wisdom but by the grace of god and more abundantly toward you 13. For we are not writing any other things to you than what you read or understand. Now I trust you will understand, even to the end 14, as also you have understood us in part, that we are your boast as you also are ours, in the day of the Lord Jesus. Sparing the Church 15. And in this confidence I intended to come to you before, that you might have a second benefit, 16 to pass by way of you to Macedonia, to come again from Macedonia to you, and be helped by you on my way to Judea. 17 Therefore, when I was planning this, did I do it lightly? Or the things I plan, do I plan according to the flesh, that with me there should be yes, yes, and no, no? 
18 but as God is faithful our G word to you was not yes and number 19 for the Son of God Jesus Christ who was preached among you by us by me Silvanus and Timothy was not yes and no but in him was yes 20 for all the promises of God in him are yes and in him amen to the glory of God through us 21 now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God 22 who also has sealed us and given us the spirit in our hearts as a guarantee 23 moreover I call God as witness against my soul that to spare you I came no more to Corinth 24 not that we H have dominion over your faith but are fellow workers for your joy for by faith you stand 